Hi, and welcome back to the channel. So if you saw the video last week, you'll know we were up at Carnarvon Gorge. And if you missed it, I'll put a link up in the top right corner right now so you can watch that one later. This week, we are heading to McIntyre Falls. And if you followed this road that I'm uh, on right now on the screen, it'll take about eight and a half hours. We did stop halfway. But anyway, here we go. Let's check it out. Good morning. It is morning. No, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. It's 12.30. Uh, middle of the day, so um, not expecting the light to be amazing. But this is where we are, uh, down at McIntyre Falls. So um, I'll let you go to that to find out um, exactly where we are. I'm sure you can find out on the map. Uh, we went down and had a look at this lookout uh, just ahead of us here. And there's a bit of water around, but um, rather than go down to the main falls, I've spotted a different waterfall slightly upstream that we're going to try and make our way down to. I just think it looks a lot more interesting uh, than a single waterfall that's falling into um, a rock pool. So let's uh, see if we can get our way uh, down across some rocks and uh, see if we can set up a shot. Let's go. Just reached the uh, little uh, sort of secondary lookout here and uh, check out this landscape. Isn't this absolutely amazing? This kind of rocky landscape. Looks pretty amazing, and so you can see right down here uh, is where we're going to try and get to. So I think we'll have to just make our own path. Have a look down there. Let's go. Well, we made it. It was a bit of a climb over some rocks there, but I saw this from um, from the lookout up on the hill there and thought this looked like a much more photogenic waterfall. How's that? Isn't that just beautiful, huh? I'm gonna um, just have a little bit of a scout around and uh, we'll just see if we can find the best sort of spot to uh, take advantage of this. I love how it splits up into two here, so we might try and, uh, thankfully I've got a 1635, might try and get wide enough to get both in. So, okay, let's go and see what we can find. Yeah, I've got a microphone on, so uh, well, let's see if, uh, if that works, because it's incredibly loud. So what I've done is I've, I've found a spot here that's kind of front and center, right in front of the waterfall. I've got this split going both ways, and I, what I really like about this is it, it kind of has a natural, a sort of roundness to the edge of the shot on both sides so it's really sort of framing itself really well 
for the full shot, I've actually included a little bit of sky and I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that. I may crop that out um, because it's not really adding anything to the shot. So we'll, uh, we'll work on that. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see my composition here, but I've, I've basically composed it with a tiny bit of uh, sky, a little bit of background in there. As I said, I'll, I'll probably crop the 69 anyway, because it's a very wide shot. And um, let's see how that final shot came out. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got another shot in mind after this. So let's check this one out first and then we'll, uh, we'll travel over to the next one. Here we go, check it out. So for the second shot, I found this. And there's quite a few of these uh, little pools in the rocks uh, along this little rock shelf. So I've just found this little one that's right in front of the waterfall. So I'll put that in the foreground. I've turned the camera in uh, portrait mode. So we're really stretching the shot between the little shot in the foreground and the main waterfall in the background here. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna work as a, as a portrait shot. So. Here we go. Um, I'll put all the settings up at the end so you can see what the settings were anyway. So second shot from here, let's check it out. just found another pool a little bit bigger than the last one uh, and he's sitting right down on the edge just down here so what I've done here is I'm kind of precariously setting up the tripod a little bit on the slippery side on these rocks and I don't want to go too far down because uh, the last place I want to end up is down there so uh, back in landscape mode because I think it's more of a landscape shot here to get all the falls in uh, and I've got this sort of little rock pool here in uh, in the sort of front center of frame as well with the big folds in the background so let's have a look at this shot and then we'll see what else we can find to shoot here let's check it out So we just found another one. Uh, isn't this absolutely amazing? There's uh, just incredible little rock pools that have been carved out obviously by water across these rocks at some stage. Uh, there's been quite a bit of rain. Uh, I think we had about 10 hours worth of uh, light rain last night. So I thought there's a pretty good chance the waterfalls are gonna be working. So that's why we came down here. But so what I've done here, I've set the camera up again in, in, uh, in portrait mode, um, putting this in the foreground, putting the main falls in the background and uh, I'm sure there's going to be more compositions to be had here. What a place. Make sure you put this one on your hit list. All right, let's check this shot out. Here we go. Falls. Well, actually, this is probably not McIntyre Falls. Let's call this Upper McIntyre Falls because this is the falls before the falls. Uh, the actual falls are, are down river here, fall into a rock pool, and uh, I didn't really think looked all that exciting to uh, scramble down there and photograph. 
when I saw this from the lookout up top, um, I thought, oh yeah, there's, there's going to be way more shots down here that we can get. So really, uh, really nice, really enjoyed myself down here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the shot. So if you did, don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, we're on our lap of Australia. Hope you come with us. Uh, I'm going to put all the shots up now with all the settings so you can see what all these settings were. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh,